We're in for a fun experience. I spent more than I would have liked to. I haven't vlogged me thrifting ever, so. That was hands down one of the most awkward, most cringy things I have ever thought of and actually went through with. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is long awaited. I haven't been thrifting in two years and today we're gonna go. I've only been thrifting in LA a few times. So I'm a little bit nervous because not only have I not gone for two years, but I also don't know like the good spots here. There's one store that I remember that we're gonna go to. It's gonna be our first stop after coffee. But other than that, it's a free for all. So today should be interesting. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Our first stop is gas because I don't have any. I also feel like since I've moved into my new place, I don't really drive as often, which is very random. The beginning of my week, like Monday and Tuesday, is all filming days, like filming from the second I wake up to the second I go to bed. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are all editing days because I do edit my own videos myself, so it takes a little bit longer. And then Sunday is like my rest day. And on top of that, I'm working out, filming content for my other social media. My weeks have been very busy, but busy is not a bad thing. Hey, we're getting gas, guys. Ready it out. Hey, yeah. Oh my god, my car was on that whole time that I was getting gas. We're gonna go inside the gas station and get a coffee because why spend the extra money and make the extra drive? I ended up getting a Celsius. I stopped drinking them because they speed up your metabolism and I'm trying to gain weight. But we're just gonna hit them with it today because I have no energy. Let's hit our first stop. <laughs> I'm nervous. <gasps> They're closed today. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We're gonna have to go tomorrow morning. That's what I'm hearing. Hello, 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 hello. You gotta memorize me. I ride around in your car. I put my weed in your blood. I see the world. Vibe switch. You dead pie, nigga, wasn't you? I started in the back, had to skip the line. No, oh, I'ma keep mad at it. It go down like a drum. Maybe I don't need a hug. Maybe I'm just fucked up. The love, the drugs, the pain, the pussy. I'm gonna put it out in the universe right now. I'm gonna go to Miami this year because I've never been. I'm gonna have a little girls trip. I'm gonna keep it fun. I'm gonna vlog it. This is the first song I'm gonna listen to when I land. Hey, you looking kinda cute. In that polka dot bikini girl I'm in Miami, bitch Drink Oh! I haven't vlogged me thrifting ever, so we're in for a fun experience. I really don't know how to vlog thrifting. Let's hit it. It's so gloomy outside. From what I remember, go through everything. Why are these already so cute? Hold on. I remember that I used to have a problem with thinking everything was cute. These are extra large, but these are catching my eye. They're like lounge pants. Fortunately, I'm definitely gonna get copyrighted if I put these next clips in with the audio So what I'm gonna do is voice over the audio and we're just gonna pretend that it's my voice at that time Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted, but I want the footage in so we make ends meet Hold on like the little buckle They're medium though What if I like I feel like I can make them work. We're gonna hold on to them that was hands down one of the most awkward, most cringy things I have ever thought of and actually went through with. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it in just because I think it's funny, but <laughs> it's like watching a show in a different language and then hearing the people talk over the people, but the mouths aren't, they're not moving the same. So you can tell something's off, you know? That, that was real bad. And there's a lot of people in this one, so I'm feeling like this is a good store to go to, but also maybe not because there's so many people in here. Like, come on, switch the music. But like, what if everyone took all the good stuff, you know? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Literally, docks. These are docks. They're a little beat up. They're not the cute ones, but they're docks. We're gonna pop a shoe off. Let's see, moment of truth. I don't like how those look, but it was a good idea. Okay, I found this shoe. 
I think it would be cute. Like, it's my size, six and a half. But where's the other one? <laughs> Where the fuck is the other one? Seriously though, who took the other shoe? And why did they only take one? I think I found it. <gasps> I did! These are cute, right? I'm not tripping, right? Fuck, are these cute? We have this. I'm like, did I just really forget how to thrift? Is this cute? The pile's starting to stack. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna go through all the clothes and figure out what I'm gonna keep and then what I'm not going to. I'm disgusted. That's so gross. <coughs> Ew. I'm hoping it fucking pours down rain. Ew. We just finished at Goodwill. Um, I found some pretty good stuff. The store that I wanted to go to is closed, but I wanna drive by and check because I really want to hit that store. This is going to be a make or break factor because if they are closed, then we're going to finish our thrifting tomorrow. But if they're not closed, then we're going to hit it. This is not to get confused. This one's for you. They are closed. Okay, I guess we could hit one more thrift store before it gets dark. Okay, let's hit it. Let's do it. We might as well. It's like 15 minutes away. Honestly, I just want to drive around more so that the shit gets off my car. I don't wanna see you cry. Please, man. Pretty please with a uh, cherry on top. Okay. okay, she giving me love. What the fuck my energy up? One time for the birthday, bitch. Two times for the birthday, bitch. It's no one's birthday. Okay. 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 At the club, man. Oh. like walking in LA not because I don't like walking and I'm lazy but because it's LA and people like to fuck with your shit okay it's 20 minute parking we're still gonna hit it we're still gonna hit it oh fuck this bitch is expensive very expensive this is cute this is real cute $198 oh my God. peep how I'm I'm walking my ass out the cheapest thing I found in there was a $68 plain orange beanie. Okay, well, we're gonna drive our asses back home and then I guess tomorrow we'll hit my spot.
Good morning. It's a new day. I'm wearing the same outfit. <laughs> It's 1 p.m. right now. I want to stop by the only thrift shop that I actually know and really like in LA that I used to go to all the time and see if they have anything there. So we're going to do that and then whenever we get back, I'll give y'all a haul. But let's go to another thrift store. It is sunny today, so we're going to have a good day. I need to stop basing my mood off the weather though. Let's talk. Let's have a little girls talk. The place is like 10 minutes away. We have a little time to talk. If you're watching this right now, take this as your sign of you just needed to hear this right now. That's literally just the way that the universe works and um, it's not a coincidence. We as humans go through our own lessons in life and trials and errors and we grow differently as people based on our experiences. But at the same time, we all share a lot of the same experiences and it's nice to hear it from someone, especially someone that you watch if you are watching this video. So. My biggest advice, just rule of thumb, rule of life that I've learned. I wanna make a video called 20 lessons I've learned in 20 years. Here's a little sneak peek of that. Regardless of how people treat you and regardless of the love that you continue to give and the love that is taken advantage of, the kindness that is taken advantage of, how genuine your intentions are, regardless of someone still choosing to fuck you over, still choosing to do you dirty, still choosing to do wrong by you, don't ever let that change who you are at your core. And this is coming from someone who at one point let it change who I was at my core and tried to be someone that I'm not. Always choose to embody love. Don't look for love. Don't hope that love finds you. The key to life, I feel like, is to embody love. It will always be hard to choose to be the bigger person, to choose to be kind regardless of how others are treating you or no matter what the extent of that is, maybe it's something small or maybe it's something big and they really fucked you over. Someone completely altered your life and how you view the world and your perspective and relationships and love and trust. Still choose love because when you embody love and you choose to value yourself and value what you bring to the table and you not only know that but you trust that as well the universe will act in your favor and over time will bring things to you that don't look like love but they are love but when you are a genuine good person and you have good intentions and you embody this love that I've been talking about the past five minutes that I'm probably gonna cut down to be like 30 seconds, then you will start seeing love in everything you do. You will take me as an example that things will get better even if you choose to be the bigger person. Another thing to add to that is don't ever choose to be someone's karma. I don't know who needs to hear this or if anyone needs to hear this, but the world is your oyster and how you treat it it is going to treat you back. And how you talk to it, it's gonna talk back to you. And what you show it, it's gonna show back to you. And there's a difference between knowing these things and then acting off your knowledge. That's all for my TED Talk. Actually, it took up the whole 10 minutes that it took to get here, so. They are open. <laughs> We're here, it's a really fucking long walk. This is a coffee I got this morning. I want to take it with me, but I'm not the type of person that can hold a drink and shop at the same time. It will stress me out, and I don't know why, but I've always been like that. So, we're going to leave it in here. Like, LA is not pretty, but it is. You know, the palm trees, the sun, peeking through. This is like a thrift and get to know me. Gotta love it. The place that I'm about to go in right now, I would tell y'all the name, but I know that if I told y'all... I would never be able to go there again because everything would be gone. That's the fun part about thrifting in LA is uh, there's a bunch of spots. So you just got to find them. I personally only know of one. Everyone's smiling today. I love it. The place that I'm about to walk into is where I used to get like all of my clothes when I first moved here. Not to get keep guys, but it's okay to get keep some things. Like, it'd be different if I was thrifting in a small town, but there's so many thrift stores in LA. Okay, we're getting close, so I'll see y'all when we're walking in. Off the bat. So cute. It's been like five minutes and I'm already going crazy. So good. I spent more than I would have liked to. 
I did just spend a good deal of money that I'm already feeling bad about, but we're gonna make ourselves feel better by going through our closet, giving a new home to the items that I currently have that I've just been holding on to and haven't worn. I also got some good summer clothes. I'm out of breath. I'm excited to show y'all what I got because I didn't really film while I was in there as much. Just out of respect for the other people that were in the store. Happy gal. We got our stuff. It's been like a week and a half. <laughs> I've been going through it, but I wanna edit this video and get it out, so I'm gonna give y'all a thrift haul. We're gonna try on some clothes. I just need to stop procrastinating. I was in a really big slump, and I'm working on the, even though I'm in a slump, still getting things done part of it, so bear with me. Let's get it going. This shit's heavy. Bag one, bag number two. I want to listen to some music. Let's have a dance party real quick. Ooh. I know friends, let's get drunk. 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 Okay, that's enough. <laughs> First thing I got is this. Harley Davidson shirt. No, it's not. Tommy Hilfiger. So cute. Yellow. I got a yacht. You know what that reminds me of? Hey, hold on. We got one more. I guess I'm going to do a try on as we go on. So. Oh, this is what it looks like on. Super cute. Makes me feel. Super like vintage. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go ride my dirt bike. <laughs> um, it's this shirt, it's really long. I like it. Also another yellow item. I don't know what was up with me today with the yellows, or not today actually, like two weeks ago. This next one, I'm thinking workout. It's just a Nike shirt, long sleeve. A good shirt to just throw on whenever I wanna go work out. I love wearing athletic wear as daily wear. It makes me want to work out and it gives me motivation, so I do it very often. Anytime that I'm not dressing up, I'm wearing workout clothes. So, this is just another basic. Super cute. These Nike shorts, this is what they look like. Super cute, they match my top. I got a whole little fit going on. Ooh, they have shorts inside of them though, and I'm probably gonna cut that out, because, uh... Another thing that I got, Skims Dope. Cozy pants, they're fluffy. I don't know if you can see on camera. They don't look like they're supposed to be gray, but they're gray. They fit, but they're not fitting how I, how I wanted them to. But also, they're just some lounge pants, so. We got, we got so much room going on right here. Another item I got is these. These are Victoria's Secret lounge pants. I'm thinking there's trap on TikTok, if I'm being honest. Let's see if they pass the test. Yeah, they passed. I got these brown pants. They're super cute. They have this little buckle. These aren't too shabby. Like, they could be a little tighter on the waist, but when you thrift things, you can't really expect them to fit fully. I'm not mad at these at all. Next thing that I got are just these lounge shorts. I knew what I was doing with these purchases. <laughs> I got these brown pants. I'm nervous that these are going to be too short. Pretty short. I'm not going to lie. Like... We're losing some inches over here. Look at this. Look at the length I'm missing. Purple trash pants. Ooh. I feel like I'm lucky that I even found this. It's cute. It's cute. It's definitely loungewear. It's cute. It's a little shorter and tighter on the bottom than I wish it was. This is a cutie pie. Mm. Okay, I got this dress. I just wanted a little Cinderella moment. 
Cinderella wears blue. This is cute. I was thinking just like a little sundress for summer when I'm tan, long, past my feet a bit. I'm gonna take it off. Cannot show you on the back. Obviously I have to wear nude undergarments, but this is cute. And I'm pretty sure it is a skirt. I'm super cute, y'all. Fucking kidding. This is so cute, like the fringe. Everything about this is beautiful. <laughs> it's so good. Next thing I got is this skirt. Obviously I need to like dress it up and figure out how I'm gonna style it. Come on, this is cute. Like a little princess moment. You can never go wrong with these. It's just a silk skirt. You can never go wrong with these. I also got a white slash cream one. It's about the same length. No, it's, yeah, literally the same length, except this one has a cutout on the side. Oh, this one does too. Oh, are these, this? I think these are the same skirt, guys. These are definitely the same skirt. So I got it in white too. I'm gonna try the white one on last because I got a top that I thought would look cute with it. But on to the next item. This one's a little bit different. A lot of these things are a little bit different than what y'all usually see me in. It's always fun to experiment, but I got this little vest. It has little pearls on it. Like, like it's different, but this could easily be so cute. It's already really cute, but I'm thinking with like a white button up long sleeve underneath. I'm gonna figure this one out, but I had to get it. Next thing I got is this top. It's just a polo knit sweater. Like it's still really cute. It's just a certain moment and I'd have to like add some like pizzazz to it, I feel like. Next thing I got is kind of similar to that. I just needed like some casual clothes to throw on. I don't really dress like this as much anymore. Like certain things that I got, I do still wear things like that. But then other things I got, it's me kind of reaching out of my comfort zone. I miss playing around with fashion. And so that was kind of my mission for this little thrifting trip. This is just a purple sweater. This is cute. Like this is just a little like <laughs> moment. Oh, I also got these shoes. They're size six and a half, literally my size. I lost my docks. Just a little like do 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 do. I don't know. This next thing that I got, I got specifically for working out. I've been looking for like, cropped hoodies and cropped jackets, something I can throw on over my fit, and then I'm still wearing a long sleeve, but it's cropped with some shorts, and then hit the gym. I wouldn't wear this normally. I bought it with intentions of wearing it to the gym. This is cute. This is a cute little moment. It's just a button up blue satin shirt. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it to sleep. That's what I love about these shirts. Blue, like this blue color is so cute. Okay, okay. These items I don't have as much to say for because they were pretty self-explanatory. Okay, the last shirt I got is this knit long sleeve. I just thought it was a cute little basic. Maybe that could be cute. Cute, yeah. Last two items before the little outfit that I chose, that's all silk. First, this was such a steal. It's this brown leather jacket, it's a size medium, I think in men's. Ah, it's so good. And then the last jacket is this racer jacket. I'm usually not into the racer jacket vibe, but I really like this one. And I like the colorway, like the black and the yellow. So this is what it looks like on the front. And then this is the back, super cute. And then I love when jackets button up at the top like that. I don't know, I think this is so cute. And this is gonna be fun to style. Now I'm gonna try on the last outfit. It's the same black silk skirt that I'm wearing right now, but it's in cream and it has a little slit on the side too. This is the top, it's like all lace in the front. This is really cute. Yeah, this has gotta be like my favorite top that I got. Oh, I love it. <laughs> now we've gone towards the end of the video. We're done with the try on haul. That was everything that I got while I was thrifting. I, I hadn't been in a long time before I went. So please bear with me. I'm not saying everything I got is like amazing hog for not thrifting in a long time and not really knowing how to go about it and forgetting how I used to thrift. I think I did pretty good. Yeah, that's all for this video. I'm excited to start putting out more content for y'all. Literally, thank y'all so much for everything y'all done for me. Y'all are my best friends and I tell y'all this every day, but it's because it's so true. We are very much equals and we're very much in this together and that's why I love making content. I'm not just making it for 
documentation of my life so I can go back and look at these videos and be like, oh, this is that. Like, I'm not just making them for me, but I'm also making them for y'all and we get to share this experience together and go through this journey together and grow together and learn together just as best friends do. So I love y'all with my whole heart. Thank y'all for everything and I'll see y'all in the next YouTube video.